Hello, David Bradley here, reporting from the pet room. Why am I here today? Well, I'm going to talk about thrifting. I've been doing my best for quite a long time. I mean, I really don't go money places at all, but I particularly have been staying away from thrift stores. But today, I made an exception. And I found this, which is a Create a Light decorative indoor outdoor lighting. And it is supposedly 18 feet long and weatherproof. And it's in its original packaging, which means I really couldn't test it. But then the chances of it being good are pretty good. So I don't know what, what this originally costs in the world. But I got it for $9.99, minus 10% for the senior discount. So, I will cut things and pull things out. It does seem to come with an awful lot of little bits and pieces. And this packaging, which I don't particularly don't particularly like, is uh, challenging and sharp. And I think uh, it doesn't get any less sharp with age. So I think this has been in here for some time. All right, so here. I guess this is, ooh, instructions. We will carefully refer to them. All right, so here is the tube. And here is the thing. I don't think I need that anymore. What is this stuff? If there's anything to it. What the heck is this? It's a little bottle. directions. Why an even bead between the dry? Oh my. Whatever this is, if it was a liquid, it is converted to a solid. I don't think it will be of much assistance. Perhaps it is for weatherproofing. Anyway, this does seem to be all sort of together. And here are lots of parts and clips and things, so I guess you could ooh, and zip ties. You could put it in I guess you can put it around places. And put, I think a lot of people initially maybe still do, would put it above, a, like under a counter in the kitchen so it would light up. And firstly, before I spend any more time on this. Oh, I might have to undo one twist tie to get at the thing. And then I will plug it in. Ooh. And indeed, it does work. Ooh. So supposedly this is 18 feet long and good for indoor. And outdoor applications. Now, I'm not sure why. I guess this is how this connects. I'll make sure this is good and tight. Good and tight. And I will undo it. And I do not believe I will ever be putting it back into that sharp thing. Be very careful with these things because that stuff is very sharp. Very sharp. 
All right, more twist ties. Who knows? Maybe I'll even end up putting this somewhere in the pet room. But I don't know. Oh, my word. Wait. Did it. Hello. Hello. All right. So we are free. So let's see. Is it really more junk? Is it really as long as what they say it is? Well, they said it was about 18 feet. And I'm not going to stretch it out here. But it would seem to be mighty long. Anyway, I think for the approximately $9 I paid for it, I think it was good. I'm suspecting hmm. this probably won't go in the pet room. Probably it will go outside, at least for now. At least for now. Now, just a second here. There's this very wonderful manual. Oh, I think what it's basically telling me in the manual is create a light instructions for adding links. Ooh. Okay. It does seem that you can do things with this. As in cutting and splicing and doing, like putting things together with more than one. And you know what? I'm not going to do that. Do not exceed 150 feet, 400.7 meters. Uh-huh. I would bet. I would bet. 150 feet. Wow, that's a long way. But I guess if you are really doing something elaborate outside, that doesn't take long to eat up. I'm wondering... How many watts is this? Do not plug create a light into power source until installation or alteration has been completed. Reasonable. Warm up create a light approximately five minutes before shaping it into designs, but unplug it when shaping. Make sure the inside of create a light is covered with an appropriate end cap so it is firmly secured and sealed with silicon for insulation before plugging into power source. To prevent ever overheating, do not allow contact between cradle light strings or parts of strings. Do not handle below 30 degrees, since forming flexing can cause great. Cradle light strings should become brittle and crack at low temperature. Do not install in small enclosed areas. Interesting. Uh, use tie straps to fit onto railings, wire fences, or tree branches. Hmm. I might do some tree branches. Um, once again, I can't see anywhere in here. Where it says... How many watts it is? I don't know. But it's been CSA approved. Not for use underwater. No, really? Anyway, so 
I think this, I don't need to keep this, this whole mess of stuff can go back in here and be on its way, oh, even the twist ties, and as I'm not going to be joining it, this that I suppose was a liquid at one time, I suppose it's been a long time since this has been in here, it is warming up. Now I will hold on to this little baggie of things. It might come in handy. I don't I don't see myself installing this in some permanent fashion. I don't. But anyway, it does seem yes, it's warming up. So it is pliable. Anyway. So that is the first of my thrifting stories. I think I did well on this. So nine dollars and ninety nine cents minus ten percent is just about nine dollars. Good stuff. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes of thrifting. Thanks so much for coming. David Bradley from The Pet Room, signing off. Bye for now.